Hey, what is going on guys? Today I am sharing with you the brand new URD Glickenhaus 007 LMH car. If you don't know and you maybe can tell, this is not a skin. These are the official like skins that come with the car that have all of the real life logos because this is actually made in collaboration with Glickenhaus. I do believe it uses a little bit of sim data as well so this thing is super accurate and is probably the best Le Mans hypercar we have currently in sim racing I'm pretty sure we all know what Glickenhaus is for the good reasons or for Jim Glickenhaus's Twitter antics but genuinely beyond Jim Glickenhaus is a super cool company they modify a lot of cars they're making their own recently now like production road cars and they also have their their race cars they've done a ton of stuff at the Nürburgring 24 hours and last year with the LMH era they made the 007 Le Mans hypercar it is not great it's been normally it's second and a bit off of the Toyota so hopefully this season maybe they can close the gap with a little bit of the BOP changes I do honestly really like the look of the Glickenhaus. I think the livery they have is kind of ugly. I mean, it's not really a livery. It's just a red car with the white accents. But besides that, I think the car itself looks super cool. And it's also the most, like, what I imagined the LMDH cars before any of them came out. This is more so what I was thinking than the Toyota. The Peugeot definitely looks amazing. I cannot wait to get a mod for that for Assetto. But... For what we have right now, this is the most LMDH looking LMDH car for Assetto Corsa and in sim racing. Now let's go over the stats of this thing. 650 brake horsepower coming from a 3.5 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine. We're having up to 9,000 RPMs. It's on a seven speed sequential transmission and it weighs 1,050 kilograms before BOP of course, but I really hope they're not adding any more weight to this thing because it needs all the help it can get. Also, by the time this video comes comes out I will have made a official like skin update for this car with some new tires um, some of the missing logos especially around the number area like the DHL logo so yeah I'll leave a link that down below on my race department page you can also find a couple other of the mods that I have created from scratch myself on there as well one more thing that I would like to add is I know there's that thing before Le Mans this year with Jim Glickenhaus it's still up in the air in my opinion whether he was referring to sim racing when he was talking about how anything other than real racing is meaningless bullshit or something like that something along those lines that he said who knows if he was talking about sim racing according to him he wasn't but to have this car i doubt jim gave them the go ahead himself i bet it was just a couple engineers and stuff but it is cool to have this official mod in Assetto Corsa, so definitely there's been a lot of Glickenhaus hate, especially during Le Mans, there was a ton of it. Honestly, this is coming from an American who really likes to see an American team trying top flight endurance racing, but just as a whole, this is a little team. We need to support teams like this unless we just want a full manufacturer hybrid dominated top flight endurance series because these little guys are what really make it fun, at least in in my opinion. So I'll shut up now and leave you with some cockpit gameplay.
Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, a like and a sub would mean a lot. If you are watching this when it comes out, um, in about probably six hours time from when this comes out, I will be doing my Daytona 500, the iRacing special event. I will be live streaming. So drop in, say hi, and get ready for 500 miles of oval goodness. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys.